Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the Nomally Spent A Road To Glory, and today, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we're going to ha be having a little bit of a discussion about the GOAT MJ, because boy, this guy is getting stupidly expensive. One earlier sold for 4.4 million MT, like his price is a madness, so definitely going to be talking about selling him today. Don't know whether or not we're going to, but we will have a bit of a discussion about that. And then also, we have sold off five Galaxy Opals. Now, I have played with them, and they have been sold. Well, they're being sold as we speak, and I believe in this episode, we will be able to cash in all the MTs. So, we might be pushing up to 3 million. We're at 1.8 right now. We might be pushing back up to 3 million MT. And that is because today, we've already had our YouTube and our Twitch streams. And thank you guys so much out. So much out. Thank you so much for coming out to those streams. We did play with the B team in My Team Unlimited, and they weren't great, so they're being sold. And then uh, we did play against a couple of subscribers as well, which was very, very fun. So if you guys want to get involved with the streams, we just hit a hundred, not a hundred, a thousand followers on Twitch, which is insane because we haven't even done it a week. Tomorrow we'll mark a week on Twitch. But yeah, really, really good stuff. Thank you guys so much for the support. We've also got the new Unlimited Players of the Month to talk about. Now, they're not out just yet, obviously, because it is still the 31st of March. March? Well, imagine. Of May. But tomorrow they will be out. And, of course, they have been added to the databases so we know who it's going to be. Now, before we jump into it today, of course, a massive shout-out to the MVPs and the GOATs of the channel. MVPs, we have got Heisenberg, Panda, Anson, Geno, Todd, Lou, Will, Harco, and Patrick. I think, I hope, and then the four goats as well, Eric, Ice Cream, Jason, and Cody. And if you guys want to get involved as well and become a member, there's a join button down below, and if there isn't, top line of the description will show you how it is done. All right, let's jump into it. So, the limited time event with these mystery packs is going to end tomorrow morning. I'm not going to get any more games in. Uh, we pushed up to 610, so we did 28 of these. Uh, and yeah, we only got the one diamond and one amethyst out of 28, which isn't great. But you know what? It gave us a bit of motivation. We pushed on past 600 wins, 610. It's not the worst thing in the world. And now it's just another 65 wins for another 125 tokens. So definitely helped us out a bit. We got the diamond consumables pack once, 5k once, 10 tokens once, I think. And then just loads of one tokens. And again, no galaxy opal. So it'll be interesting to see if they do anything like that again in the future. Now onto the agenda. Nothing for the daily ones, nothing for the weekly ones really. And then tomorrow, I'm really hoping we get some more that have ball rewards that aren't ones we already have. Because that was very frustrating this month, having three rewards that we've already got. Um, and there's still five that we need from the agenda. So even if we get all three or three new ones, it's still not even going to be enough for us to get this fireball. Which is kind of dead, not going to lie. Um, this one is obviously in our control. Uh, we need seven more pink diamonds from the token market, which we could do if I really wanted to. If I just had that to finish, I probably would do it just for the for the culture. Uh, and the beach ball, we could easily go and pick up the uh, ornament balls. They wouldn't cost too much at all. We went into the Unlimited today with the B team. I think we took one win and then one loss. And I just quit out of a game, or I might have just quit out of that loss. I can't even remember. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get a base heat check pack tomorrow, which is fine, because obviously the rewards do reset. They don't carry over, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, and speaking of packs, we actually have quite a few to open, and they're quite exciting ones, so I'm going to lie. So there's been loads of creator locker codes going around. So yesterday we had Zach TTG and Kobe 0802's codes. Um, they will both be expired by now, so there's no point in me shouting them out in this video. And then... Tonight, there was one from Sub the Gamer, which I believe will still be active. So go on Twitter, guys. Just go to Shape's Twitter, and he's put out the code from Sub. And we managed to get two Paul George packs, which is a big W, one Dwayne Wade, and then these packs were all from Triple Threat Online that we did yesterday. So we'll get these out of the way. And then two Paul George packs. Not going to lie, I'm pretty excited about that. We've got the opportunity to get something very good. And when I say something, I mean Galaxy Open Paul George, because if it's not Paul George, it's a bust. It's a bust. If we get one of the other Opals, Sean Kemp or Oladipo, Oladipo sells for like 75k. Kemp is still a little bit more expensive. He's about 130, 140 right now. So a Kemp wouldn't go amiss. Ooh, a diamond from Earl Monroe Legacy Series 1. So who is this going to be? It's going to be a Rockets. It's going to be... No, not Rockets, sorry. Uh, a Wizards point guard. It is going to be... I even know... If you know, you know, guys. If you know, you know. You hate to see it. I didn't even think this was an El, El Monroe pack. Oh, you hate to see it. I never wanted that guy to be in my club again. And here he is, finding a way 
to get into my club. Unbelievable scenes. Okay, so we'll move past that as quickly as we can. We'll move on to this uh, Prime Dwayne Wade pack. We're getting nothing out of this one. And that leaves the two Paul George packs. PG-13 wouldn't go amiss because I believe right now he's still selling for about 400, 400k, imagine 700k. He's come down a little bit, 630, but they don't have shoes or contracts. Uh, Oladipo, yep, yeah, not even selling for 85k. And then Sean Kemp coming in at, yeah, about like 130, 140. So, a massive discrepancy in the prices of these Opals. And that's even if we manage to get one, which I don't think we're going to do. So, first pack is a massive dud. Jeremy Pargo comes through. Uh, let's not forget, we did open these packs when they first came out, and we did get the two pink diamonds, so I guess we've had reasonable luck out of packs lately. Anything out of this pack right here, and it's going to be an emerald, so uh, yeah, not great. So six packs saved up, and we got one diamond, but honestly, I'd rather we didn't even get him. Um, but anyway, we move past that, we move past that. So we had uh, a heat check, Andrew Wiggins and Wendell Carter Jr. in the club. Not sure where they came from, but we went ahead and sold them. And then Eddie Curry, look at that, 98k... Like, bruh, he's so expensive. He's that he's back to nearly 100k. That is insane. So when we bought him, we bought him during a massive market crash. I can't remember which one it was, but massive market crash. And I believe we paid about 56k for him around that. So we made like a 40k profit on that card, which is big. So really happy about that. And of course, the reason is we've got David Robinson. We've got Hakeem. I'm kind of okay with Hakeem being there. We don't really need to have MT in another center. Now, you're going to see a lot of MT right here, guys. Oh, okay, so, oh, that's really good. So, they've all got about uh, five to seven minutes left on them. Clay Thompson is at 175k already with no shoe, no contract. That's big. Chris Bosch at 237 with a shoe and a contract. Lamar Odom at 292. Taco Fall at 100, so hopefully someone bids on him. And uh, JR Swish at 233. If they all get another bid on them, we've made some big profit off of them. Uh, let me just tell you the reasons why I went ahead and sold these guys. So, Clay Thompson... His release is not good. His moving shot is really slow, and his standing shot just feels really slow. Obviously, I'm accustomed to using people like Kobe, MJ, Dwayne Wade, and his release just did not feel good, so he had to go. Taco Fall, so, so slow. These stats don't lie. It is really 70 speed, 69 acceleration. He is so painful to play with, so he had to go. He was completely a liability out there. Lamar Odom is fantastic. Let's not get it twisted. Lamar Odom is fantastic, but the new player of the month is going to come in at his position. So there's no point in having him in the squad. Similarly to Chris Bosch, he doesn't play centre. Uh, well, I wouldn't want, him to play him, wouldn't want to play him at centre. Um, he is 6'11", but um, I don't know. He just doesn't feel like a centre to me. And obviously, we've got Hakeem and D-Rob there anyway. And then at the power forward position, as I said, we've got the new guy coming in. And then JL Smith just really didn't impress me. Not going to lie. He just felt really weak out on the floor. He didn't feel that fast. So yeah, he had to go as well. Ooh, a couple of bids changed. Over 300k on Odom. And finally, someone decides they want uh, a tackle full, which is nice. So yeah, no one really would have made it into this squad, I don't think. We've got Sean Kemp still down there, and I'm still pretty happy about him. Uh, and of course, guys, yesterday we played against DBG. Let's talk about that for a little minute right here. So game number one was obviously uh, on his host and a lot of internet connection problems. His end, uh, he was frame skipping and getting the attempting to restore connection. So... We scrapped game one, we went to game two on my host. I have obviously got the more stable internet because game two was fine. Um, it was very, very close. We were down by six at half time, but feeling pretty confident in uh, in how I was playing and uh, knowing that I could play better than how I was playing. So third quarter, we came out and we really turned it around. So we went from 40 to 33 down. We went to then make it 56 to 52. So we went on a 22 to two run, uh, which was feeling really good. And he, 22 to 12 run. Did I say 22 to 2? 22 to 12 run. Uh, and then he came down with Heedy Turklu. He went over, I think it was David Robinson, uh, who was standing underneath the paint. Obviously, Hall of Fame Intimidator is a badge that is incredibly OP and pretty broken this year. He goes for an open layup. He misses it. It was like 10% contested or something. It should have gone in. Heedy Turklu bricks it. Um, and then he quit off the back of that. So it was just coming towards the end of the third quarter. I think it was about a minute left in it. End of the third quarter, four-point game. We had possession, because obviously he missed that. We got the rebound. We had possession. I feel like I would have gone on and win, won it, uh, and he said the same as well. So that is a C series now tied at two games apiece. So, of course, there will be a deciding game five at some point, probably next month, probably mid to end of June, we'll get the game in. And uh, 
Hopefully that could be a full game. Now it definitely will be. And uh, yeah, by then, who knows who we'll have in the squad. But uh, Giannis was unbelievable. Played so well. And uh, MJ was really good when he came in as well. So yeah, that's how yesterday's video went down. And if you missed it, be sure to go ahead and uh, check that video out on the channel. And of course, check his version of the game as well over on his channel. Now we've got loads of shoes to go ahead and sell right here. And I think we will quite comfortably hit 3 million MT. We've just got to get like just over 1 million and we should easily do that, especially with uh, Lamar Odom going for over 300k, Chris Bosch going for quite a lot as well. That would have sold for a little bit more, wouldn't it? That's a bit of an L, not going to lie, but oh well. Uh, we move on. Right, there we go. I think that's all the shoes done and then we'll just discard these things as well. And these are little things, but as long as you keep on top of them, if you let them stack up, it takes so long to go through them all. But let's have a look right here. So Taco's up to nearly 200k. Nothing else is really changing, but I think we paid... 156 for Clay, I think. We played like 330 for Odom, so we're probably going to take an L on him. Taco Fall, I think we paid 220. JR Smith, 230. And then Bosch, I don't think we paid too much. I think it was like 220 or something like that for uh, Chris Bosch. So on the majority of these cards, we're just going to break even, which I'm not mad at. You know, we tried them out. Out of all of them, who would I like to keep? Lamar Odom. But I will talk about the unlimited players of the month in a bit we'll get all these guys cashed in we'll talk about the players of the month and then we'll talk about the goat mj as well so a lot of discussion here today but i hope you guys enjoy these types of videos if someone wants to put another bid on these cards that'd be fantastic one more bid on lamar odom surely and taco full an evo taco okay good 214 oh oh i like that 182 on clay so we definitely made a uh, profit on clay thompson that's big come on surely someone's gonna bid Hey, whenever I bid on cards, as you guys saw in those videos when I was trying to buy these cards, I always got outbid at the last second. 192? 200k for clay? What? Hey, what is that? Let's go. Wow, clay has got expensive. That's insane. Hey, Chris Bosch, you've let me down. I'm not going to lie. You've let your family down. You've let me down. You've let everyone down. Lamar Odom. You've let me down, you've let your family down, you've let everyone down. Taco Fall, come on, buddy. 224 for one with a... Th I think this is a three-point shoe as well. It is! Oh, that's heartbreaking. So the only dub we've taken... Yeah, the only dub we took there was Clay Thompson. 230k for Clay Thompson. Without a shoe or a contract? What is wrong with people? But you know what? I ain't mad at it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. So let's go ahead and uh, cash these boys in. So 230... I can't believe that for Clay. That's, that's such a W right there. Shame about the other guys, um, but what a W on Clay Thompson. That's insane. So that should put us at about 3 million anyway. And uh, then we've got J.R. Smith coming in. So we've got a bit of 2-3. Oh, we're just shy. So J.R. Smith will take us there. So, yeah, it looks like about 2 3 3 k is um, exactly the bid. Oh, it's exactly the same bid. That's not suspicious at all. To the 1 MT, it's exactly the same, uh, same bid as is the 1 on R. So that's a little bit weird. Um, he didn't actually have a diamond shoe on him, so I put these really cheap, I think they were Air Jordans on him, um, and they literally boost stats, so we're already nearly 99 anyway. But it's always a good idea, and I would strongly recommend you guys do it as well. Just chuck a really cheap diamond shoe on someone when you're selling them, because people are always more likely to pay a little bit extra for a card with a diamond shoe and a diamond contract, rather than one without a shoe. Anyone going to come in at the last couple of seconds right here? I can't believe none of our cards, apart from Clay, had like anyone pop in at the last second, but... Um, you know what? It is what it is, and it still takes us over 3 million MT. Fantastic. Lovely stuff. Right. Unlimited. Let's have a chat. So all of us thought it was going to be a point guard, because, of course, there hasn't been one in this set right here, and the set number one had Baron Davis. And it's not a point guard. It is a Jerry Lucas. So small forward, power forward, six foot nine, base 98. So Dwayne Wade's base on this card. 50 Hall of Fame badges, so a little bit more than... Well, actually, yes, yeah, seven more than Glenn Rice, who was the latest one. So 50 Hall of Fame badges and 21 gold as well. So 71 total badges is insane. Uh, don't worry about this mystery play right here, guys. That's just a placeholder tomorrow. That will disappear when Jerry Lucas is actually available. And then the mystery player here on the left-hand side of your screens, that is a Galaxy Opal Rudy Gay. Shooting guard small forward, six for eight. Again, 50 Hall of Fame badges, which is weird. Because I don't understand how the lock in reward has the same badges as a card in the set. But you know what? I'm not mad at it. 50 Hall of Fame badges and again, 21 gold. So Rudy Gay looks incredible. And I think he only has three stats under 95. 
Only three stats under 95, which is unbelievable. And then, then yeah, Jerry Lucas again also looks unbelievable. So we are going to be having a small forward, power forward, six foot nine. So exactly the same build and positions as Josh Smith coming into the squad. So Jerry Lucas will come in at the starting small forward position. Josh Smith will be relegated. And I'm not sure where to. Maybe the backup power forward position and we'll just sell off Sean Kemp. I'm not sure. And then a uh, uh, Galaxy Open Rudy Gay. Where do you fit him in there? Like, where does he even fit? I don't know. But he's so good that he's got to come into the squad. Like, he's going to be better than the Tracy McGrady, most likely. Uh, the Glenn Rice, most likely. Like, he is just going to be a joke of a card. And that is what brings us on to the final decision point of today, or talking point of today. And that is Galaxy Opal Michael Jordan. So, to open the auction house, 14 hours remaining. And it's got a bid of 3.7 million in 14 hours remaining. This one's got 2.4 million. And it's been up for not even an hour. And it's got a day left on it. This card is so rare and so, so unbelievably expensive that I am so tempted to go ahead and sell him. And another reason is because of that Galaxy Opal Rudy Gay. So what we can do if we do get him, obviously Dwayne Wade can go to the 1, Glenn Rice to the 2, move uh, Rudy Gay to the 3, and then obviously MJ will be gone, and that won't be too much of a problem. So we wouldn't really miss him. Um, we would just... Oops, my bad. Uh, we just have untradeable cards to replace him with. Um, but then I look at my MT amount, and I see 3 million, and I think, do I really need another 3 point whatever million or 4 million that it may be do we really need that into the club? But then I also think we paid 2.85 for him, so we're making a significant amount of profit. If he sells for 4 mil, we're making 800,000 MT profit on one card. Like, 800k is enough to buy, like, the Paul George or, like, a glitch T-Mac. I think maybe not, uh, but, like, nearly enough for a Shaq as well. It's an absurd amount of MT to make us profit on a card this good. And another reason why... So I'm going to give you the reasons why I think I'm going to sell him and why I'm not going to sell him. Now the reason why I think I want to sell him is because chances are he's going to come back into packs because 2K wants money. What makes them money? A goat MJ in packs makes them money. So I can definitely see him going back into packs and obviously when he does that his price is obviously just naturally going to come down a little bit. Um, but then I think like if they don't put him into packs and then this completion reward comes out and it's someone insane and the third player, let's not forget, like if the third player is also um, auctionable, then I think that will also have a negative effect on MJ's price. But if this third player comes out and he's like 2,000 tokens from the token market or something like that, and MJ is the only auctionable card out of the, um, I assume it's going to be three goats right here, his price will go up even higher. It could even hit like five mil. Um, Oh, I don't know. I am so on the fence. You guys are going to have to let me know down in the comments. I've had my chat talking to me today in the Twitch and the YouTube streams as well, wondering whether or not I should sell him, and I am so, so torn. I've got, like, literally half and half of me telling to sell, half and half telling me to not sell, and obviously it is the best card in the game, like, 99 is everywhere, but 4 million MT, like, the second most expensive card in the game right now is Giannis, and Giannis is 2.3. So MJ is 1.7 million MT higher or more expensive than the second most expensive card in the game, which is unbelievable to think. I mean, there's only four cards over a million MT in the game. Yeah, Giannis, Bron, Shaq, and MJ. There's only four cards over one million MT, and MJ is at four. So, oh, I don't know, guys. And then the thing is, like, I've got to be very careful when I list him up. Because uh, I don't want to be putting them up for four hours. We want to give time people time to bid on these. So I'd probably put it up as a 12-hour auction. List them up as soon as I wake up in the morning and then let him sell off in the evening. But, um, oh, I don't know. You guys are going to have to let me know. But like I said, the squad's not going to struggle at all because tomorrow we've got the potential of the Jerry Lucas and the Rudy Gay who both look exceptional. So really excited to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Wait to see people get him. Obviously, I'm not going to get him straight away because um, the sweat is going to be real. But other people will get him. We'll see the jump shots. We'll see the animations. And hopefully, they will slot nicely into our team. But that's going to do it for today's episode, guide. I hope you have enjoyed up to 3 million MT again, which is mad. And yeah, let me know down below what you think about the Galaxy Opal GOAT, Michael Jordan. What should I do? Hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.